Torchetti here at Elysium during the Vampire Ball for 2016. Represented by the VCA, the Vampire Court of Austin, and some special sponsors like this gentleman. Hello, my name is Thomas Sitch. I am just delighted to be here as a guest of the court, showing off Shadow's Kiss, the vampire MMO that uh, myself and my team are working on. All right. Um, what are some of the features that might actually catch the public's eye, aside from that it's a vampire game? Well, so besides living your vampire fantasy in a vampire Game of Thrones, right, you are setting out to control various aspects of mortal society and to undermine those aspects of control that your vampire uh, opponents, even other players, that you want to take down, say, their control of organized crime or banks or churches or such. Oh, churches. I love their chicken. Ha <laughs> ha. <Quite> tasty. Ha <laughs> yes indeed. But, um... Uh, what, what about what about some of the stuff, because everybody is getting so, I, I don't want to use those letters, but it's getting real SJW, vanilla is soft out there. <laughs> it, it, will, will people like that be turned off or drawn to this game? Well, it's an interesting question. So we, we wrestle with the concept of consent in a vampire context, right? Because fundamentally, the vampire fantasy is getting out there and it is being taken or it is taking. It is, you know, it is about going out and ruling the night and ruling mortals. So if you're going out and you're sucking some poor juice bag dry, they obviously didn't give consent on that. And we also have an adult aspect to this. And there is, there is uh, sex and other stuff that can be done in terms of seducing or controlling or otherwise influencing people in the game. So we're actually experimenting with those borders. Like, where, where is the sweet spot for, for you, the fan of the vampire genre, you know, what do you want to do when you're going out there and you're controlling the night and you're ruling mortals and you're fighting other vampires? Like, yo, what's too racy in the world of Game of Thrones and Grand Theft Auto and so forth and, and True Blood? So, you know, we're hopefully we'll be provocative enough to make some headlines that most people will really enjoy it. We'll probably piss some people off too. That always comes to the territory. You're, you're not looking for that hatred style controversy though, are you? Oh, well, please, no, yeah. We, we, well, at, the, at the end of the day, we want to make something that people like. So if we're really making somebody mad, either they know nothing about us, or they just really want, really want to be mad, I think, anyhow. Alright. Well, um, is it just vampires? Like, is it vampire exclusive, or is it all supernatural? Like, are there specters? Are there, are there werewolves? Are there witches? Or leprechauns, even? Player-wise, you're playing vampires. And if we had a, a larger funding base, I would love to do also do shapeshifters and slayers as a triumvirate of factions, but that's not happening right now. However, you do face them, and you can... Because a big concept of the game is that if I run into a group of vampire slayers on the street, I can kill them. That's fun. It's easy. Maybe it's easy. I hope it's easy. Or I can go ahead and I can try to strike a deal. I can be like, hey, listen, I'm one of those good vampires. In fact, I'm one of those good vampires. Look deeply into my eyes. <laughs> oh, is there anything I can do to help you out? And maybe you'll work for me now. So you can, you can take the path of, of slaying your, your adversaries, or you can take the path of mastering them and ruling them. So that'll play into it too, and if I'm interacting with the, uh, the Lunar Covenant, which is the shapeshifter group in the in-game, I can fight them, or I can try to make them work for me. You know, and there's, there's, there's drawbacks and trade-offs in all circumstances, but uh, I can come out ahead in the deal. Well, are there any, like, prominent characters that people should look for in-game? Like, <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. Actually, uh, King Logan and Queen Daly are both play a critical part in the initial story where we're introduced to the intrigue of the vampire world and the backstabbing that's going on, and apparently Daly has betrayed Logan and is working with the necromancers who have stolen Tesla's technology to force the spirits of the dead into the corpses and raise zombies and so forth. So it's, it's going to be interesting. Uh, this is clearly a work of fiction, though. <laughs> uh, it, presumably. Yeah. <laughs> so we have actual members of the Vampire Court of Austin in this game. That's, that's kind of prominent. Were, were you looking to like get other members, like other courts, within the state of Texas or even within the country? We're considering it. I mean, part of the advantage of being a lean, scrappy, independent game is that we're not beholden to giant, you know, big financial interests. We can go and we can add people in and make interesting things and tie it into, you know, our courts and our lore and, and everything. I think that's fantastic. So, it's a lot of fun. Oh, I mean, that, that, seems, that seems rather interesting. I mean, you have 
legitimate royalty who are also reality stars and now they get to be immortal no matter what thanks to you exactly and you can you can tell your story with logan and you know either walk in and be the the bold diabolic monster or the calculating schemer to see how that advances you in the court all right now has this game already dropped is it beta or is it like full on like hey check this out we're good to go blah we are in a, what we call a pre-alpha day. So, come beautiful ladies, man. <laughs> so, we're going to be letting people in soon in a sort of uh, sneak preview uh, capacity. We're still building the game. Uh, part of being a crowdfunding game is we are showing you the sausages that's being made, and it's not always pretty. But there's a lot of awesome in there nonetheless. So. But, but you will actually have a complete game that we you know, we can sit down, we can play, there's oh, yeah. none of this, oh, by the way, in three weeks you'll have the next chapter. Well, there will be a complete game at some point. Yeah. So, yeah. We're working we're working up to that as we get there. But you're actually promising a complete game. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, no, okay. we have a clear roadmap of the game we want and we have the experience we want David. the players to have. And so while we're letting you in early, you know, there, there's an end point where it is going to be fucking awesome. So, yeah. All right, and, and once again, the game... <laughs> The name of the game, so everyone looks it up. Shadows Kiss. Shadows with an S. Shadowskiss.com or Patreon.com slash Shadows Kiss. Check those both out. All right. And since you are on agriculture, would you say when times get tough, you need to get behind the tank? Absolutely. Uh, tank, tank, tank. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure.